Well, the holiday can come with dreaded visits from the in-laws. No, I'm not talking about my wife's family, Jerry and Kendra, in case you're watching. There's a new computer security threat from a guy known as the hacker in-law. And today in Compute This, who is he and what can you do to protect your computer? Well, for Schrock, he's the guy with all the answers, owner of Schrock Innovations. He joins us today. What is this uh, well, all hacker All the answers. That well, might be a little in intense because actually there's a lot of answers people don't have about the thief in law. And you know, it's 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 not your Aunt May that came and tried to steal the silverware after Christmas dinner. Right. <laughs> this guy is a Russian hacker, and he, uh, he one is, guy, one guy, and he is bragging openly, "I am in Russia. You can't touch me, America, because I am in Russia." Um, he's trying to recruit other hackers to his cause. Now, what's different about this guy is he's very public about who he is and what he's trying to do. He wants to steal millions and millions, if not a billion dollars, from U.S. bank accounts, individual bank accounts sometime between now and the spring. Why does he call himself the hacker in law? Yeah. The, well, Where's he's the, the thief in law. Uh, his name is Russian, and thief the rough in translation is thief in law. Thief I in mean, law. They, you know, okay. you, some things you can't translate from Russian. Most of those things you wouldn't want to anyway, I suppose. Mm -hmm. but, uh, but basically, this guy, he developed his own malware. Now, what mm -hmm. makes him unique is you, there's, a, there's a life cycle to malware. So when a new vulnerability is discovered, the bad guys make programs that exploit it. That's how the viruses get into your computer, even mm -hmm. if you have antivirus software. And so what this guy has is vulnerabilities that he has discovered, but he has not shared them. So usually what happens is the bad guys discover the vulnerability, they'll do a, a proof of concept, a test, to make sure that it works, and then they will turn around and sell that vulnerability to you know, big time crime bosses or whoever else wants to use it and take their money that way mm -hmm. without getting their hands dirty. This guy hasn't shared the vulnerabilities with anyone. He hasn't shared his malware with anyone. And the latest, he's doing tests. He's been doing tests since 2010 uh, on his malware. And the latest iteration, the latest test actually concluded on November 30th. Um, he's proven that he, he infected with this latest test about 600 computers in the US, which a lot of people say, well, that's 600 computers. What are the odds of me getting infected? The thing that's interesting, though, is McAfee, big cyber antivirus company right. uh, that deals more with corporations than individuals usually, hopefully their software works better for corporations, uh, has issued updates or definitions for, to detect this guy's malware for the banks. Now, this can lead some confusion for me. Why do you protect the banks when individuals are getting hit? You put two and two together, what it looks like is happening is he infects a local computer. The thing that makes his virus so unique is it can actually answer the challenge question for your bank login. Really? You, know, you see that little image? If you recognize this image, yeah. right. it can actually answer your challenge questions based on what you've typed before. So my guess is mm -hmm. he infiltrates your computer, looks at your bank account, mm -hmm. makes sure that you're a mark worth marking. Mm -hmm. uh, and then with, with a list of people, then he attacks the banks and steals the money. Because most people know you can't go log into your online banking and transfer money to somebody else's account. Mm -hmm. You can do online bill pay, stuff like that, but you mm -hmm. can't just like you know, do a wire transfer. Sure. Uh, so, you know, what he, so he has to steal it from the bank. So he's trying to access the bank with the list of known accounts, account numbers, challenge questions, anything you have access to with a, with a login to your online banking, he would have access to, and then steal the money that way. Um, there's so a couple things it, here. Is there a concern for the general public out there? Or just there's banks? a huge concern. Actually, this is getting the attention of some of the most serious security uh, concerns in the banking industry. The, the banks are very secure or concerned about this because... He claims he can do it. And what happens in the hacking community, the black hat guys, the real evil hackers, the guys that are really out to get you, um, if they claim they can do something and then they can't do it, their reputation is completely destroyed. This guy is out there all over the place trying to recruit hackers to help him mm -hmm. pull off this heist in a large way for a piece of the pie. If he can't pull this off, his name is Mud. So you have to take him seriously to think he's going to be able to pull this off. So what do you do? What can people do? Well, that's, that's the trick, because the attack is going to hit the banks. And so one of the things we tell our customers is when you get hit with a virus, um, your computer reports back to the infector saying this IP address is now infected. Mm -hmm. You can actually buy lists of IP addresses that are likely infectable on the black market. So if you've had a virus before... You're marked. Yep, it, it, you, got the, you got the splash of lamb's blood on the, the door. The scarlet letter. Yes, you, you're ready to go. So you are marked. Mm -hmm. And what ends up happening is when customers come into our shop with viruses, we tell them you really, really, really need to get good antivirus software now because you're marked. Mm -hmm. Your IP address is marked. And, you know, if you've never had a virus before on your computer, well, you get your IP address from Cox or from Quest or from mm -hmm. CenturyLink or Windstream or wherever you're at. Those IP addresses get recycled. So you may have an IP address from somebody who was hacked before. Mm, sure. Oh. And so what happens now is you have to make sure, you know, there's some steps you can take. There's some things that you can do 
to reduce the likelihood. If you've already been hit by this sometime since 2010, he already has your online banking passwords. It's already done. Uh, he's going to probably target larger banks would be my guess. So if you have a small community bank, you know, I bank at Westgate Bank in Lincoln, so mm -hmm. it, uh, you know, it keeps me a little safer. But uh, first thing is update your antivirus. You know, make sure you've got antivirus software on your computer that will stop the threat. I highly, highly, highly recommend Norton 360. They don't pay us to recommend it. I've asked them to pay us. They tell me they're, <laughs> they I'm going to recommend right. it anyway, so they're not going to pay me. <laughs> I didn't think that one through before I did it, I suppose. Um, the second thing is make sure you have all your Windows updates downloaded. Now, a lot I'm of, bad about that. Well, a lot of people think they get the automatic updates, right. and that's mm -hmm. enough. Um, if you do a check, if you click on Start and go to Windows Update in your Start menu, you'll see that there's a whole list of recommended updates as well. Get those yeah. too. Get, Get those updates. The next thing you want to do is make sure that you've got your, uh, your online banking stuff. Change your password. Roll your passwords. How often uh, should you do that? No, we we asked this, you asked me that last week, yeah. and I said, you know, the, the official response is you right. should do it on a monthly basis. You know, realistically, mm -hmm. most people never rule their, their online banking challenge question. Change your challenge question. Change your image. Just take this opportunity to change everything, and one of the things that you can do that's absolutely free is download the free trial of Secure Updater. Right. I have to say, I, I talked about this on the radio show mm -hmm. yesterday, and the number of downloads went through the roof of the free trials. It's good for 14 days. And it's secureupdater.com. Secureupdater.com. See it, how I remember yeah, that? Yeah, you're very good. And it, what it does is it updates all that third-party software, gets rid of those vulnerabilities so your computer stays safe. Free through Christmas, get you through the holidays. Secureupdater.com. Can you also go to schrockinnovations.com? Will it get you there as well? Yes, it will. Okay, perfect. Go to the website. There's three locations for Schrock Innovations, one in Omaha, one in Papillion, and one in Lincoln right there on Pine Lake Road. All right. Thank you, sir. Thanks for having me, guys. Thanks for coming. All right. Well, Luritz and Garden.